All right, you guys. Today's video is about this box, but it's actually about other things. Then we'll get back to this box. So let's get started. Hope you watch to the end. There'll be some fun stuff along the way. See you later. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to find what? No, wait, you have to do the intro. You know my intro? Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Russ Grease with RWGResearch.com. Yeah, but you're, you're my wifey. So anyway, it's a little <laughs> different, but I like the intro. So today, we're making a video about what? I'm um, making vinyls for your... Um, battery tanks. My battery box. So I got my little box here. I added some ports. I'm going to charge my batteries, store my batteries. And I actually can't get this sticker off. So we're going to cut out a solid white and then stick stuff on it. So what, what are we going to put on it? A little see through. What are we going to put on it? Um, we have an atom and then nuclear yep. symbol. Battery charging. I like it. <laughs> and then not plutonium. That's correct. <laughs> and this is like, I'm not really sure it, what. That, it, that's that's an atom measurement inside of like the hard drive collider. Okay. And we got some. Professor's that, gonna go on top. Why? Why? Because that's what the flying field guys call you. <laughs> I did not make this name up. They legit gave me the name professor because I'm out there doing science projects. And then I have rust grease. And then I have, it says, actually, it is rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not actually building rockets, but I like it. No, but it's... Awesome. So how are you going to make this? On, on my Cricut. Cricut? Yeah. Circut? A circuit. My circuit? Cricut maker. You're going to make it on a circuit? Yes. You are. But I'm going to have to use my matte thick vinyl because this is too see-through. Oh. You will see it. Oh, yeah, that's bad. So I have to get my other vinyl out. All right, cool. So you got this program that comes with the circuit. So how do you like this program? I hate it. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> you have to use it to use this thing. So unfortunately, that's what you get. You get what you get. Yep. It's so so. I think I think you could import things in here and cut it nicely, but you should learn how to use s uh, programs such as uh, I don't even see it on there. Um, Inkscape would be a good yeah. one, but it's a little crazy. Yeah. So anyway. I guess, uh, what is the method? Um, so I need to hit make it. Yep. Are you ready to do that? Yeah, I just need to go get my white, and then I gotta cut all these to the right size. Okay, so you do make it. And then material. Yep. Ta-da! And it's gonna group all the things that are white. Okay. And then I just kinda space them out so I don't have them so close to So this is all the white, and then each color is separate and you can do what you want? Yeah. So how do you put it on this, what is this mat? What? The mat. Oh, the mat board? Yeah. I just use standard grip. Standard grip. It looks like a sticky. Yeah. And uh, your stuff sticks to it. And then you just place it on there where it goes, based on Based this. on the measurement. Mm -hmm. And it's never quite always the same measurements. It yeah. acts a little weird half the time, but hey, you know, whatever. It does the job. It does the job. So you stick it on here, you put it in there, uh -huh. and you cut it. And I cut it. I had a lot of people ask me about, well, I had a few people ask me about this in the background for the for the uh, Skeet Scout up there. Oh. So I figured this would be a good opportunity for you to show us how this works mm -hmm. since you're making some fun thing. I am making some fun stuff. Cool. That looks great. And Jeremy's here. Where's your pants, Russ? Don't worry about my <laughs> pants. <laughs> you're not supposed to be here, so I'm supposed to have my, my pants. It's not Thursday. All right, so we'll be back when you get ready. We'll show some cuts. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. She must love me. I do. Something. She likes me for my body. <laughs> what are you doing? You working? I'm working. Okay, so you got this stuff. The heck is this? Um. No, no. Like, what is it? I'm thinking. It starts with a T, ends with the ans ans for paper. Okay. Transfer paper. Yeah, transfer paper. Yeah, you. Know. She's forgot. It's funny. Got her on film. She's all nervous. Like. No, I just. Oh no. I haven't done this in a long time. I did paper and I did iron on. So I haven't used transfer paper in a while. True. So you cut this out. Where's the negative? The other part. I threw it away. Oh, you did? We'll get a better visual later. There's the there's the negative. <laughs> Looks great. Don't worry about it. Okay, so you got the negative. That's on that sheet? It's on... Like I pulled off the negative. Yeah, okay. So it just has the word. So you pull that off here. This is the transfer. Oh, okay. 
the clear is there, you pull that off, and now you got it on transfer paper, which this side is sticky. Yeah. And now, if you're lucky, it's now transferred. Now you got sticky, sticky. Right? Yeah. So now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stick it on here. Though I did not line it up first. Now you can pull this up. So you stick it on there like that. Mm -hmm. And you use that fancy tool. We're watching an expert. I saw you almost forgot to use your scraper because you literally, you haven't done this in a long time. I have not. You've only done the, she's been making t-shirts. And and then uh, then what do we do? And just pull it off. Just yank it like a band-aid? Just like a band-aid. Or you gotta be gentle and kind and sweet uh, and loving. I do it softly uh, and then I so not I push it not down. how not how you put band-aids on me and take them off. You just rip them off, <laughs> which I I respect. It's your one chance. Yes. So there you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. look Drop how nice that door. looks. Just got the. Yeah, this looks front. like crap. So don't it's because of the paper got all messed up too. It's not your fault. That's amazing. So now you gotta cut all these other bazillion things out. I already did. Oh, let's see one. So there you go, you can see it. I don't know why I'm acting like nobody's ever seen this, but I, I guarantee know. you, I guarantee okay. you there'll be at least five people who have never seen this done. Well, men that aren't artsy might not know, but they might have wives that do it. Anyway, I'll just pretend like you didn't say that. That sounds very controversial conversation. There's not very many men that I, have YouTube channels, there's only oh, a few you have that, that I have follow. YouTube channels. So how about people who have done it? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying that I have YouTube channels. I've only found two that I like to watch. There might be like that are men. A few women watching my channel. That's the rest of the men. So the question is, how many have you? How many people have done vinyl? And are you a man or a woman? Because I'm gonna win because they're all men. So even if two people done it, I win. But if they're <laughs> Then, then, then you win. You. It's not about winning. It's about winning. Okay. It's about winning. Oh, uh, see. All right, this is very cool. So I'll show you guys when it gets complete. I don't know what happened there. It just. It got bubbled. It bubbled. Yeah. In. It's, it's vinyl that I don't like. It's Oracle brand. I don't like it. Okay. Well, it's a good thing you're using it on my expensive projects. Yes. We want to use all trash on my projects because <laughs> all my projects are made of trash. Okay. We'll be back when we get more complete. A little little secret for those of you paying attention. That's all you get. What's the matter? You smell. What do you mean I smell? Your farts smell like nuclear. I got the door open. War zone. It's not plutonium. You're good. Oh my gosh, it still so smells so bad. What's the matter? It, tell the audience what it smells like for them to enjoy this moment with us. I, I don't know. It's like I would rather smell cow manure. Or a duck farm, or a pig farm, any type of farm, over would, your farts. Would be better than my farts? Yes. Those I'm used to. I can handle those. I will say this is one of the worst ones that's ever had in a long time. And I fed you a turkey sandwich for dinner or for lunch, so you should not have the farts. It's so bad. Like, seriously bad? Seriously bad. Like, I can't even be in here anymore. Yeah, that bad. And I'm the one who did it. Yes. So bad. How does it make you feel? Like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> I need to drink some water. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm working on your tank. It's looking good. Looking good. This is not plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> is this spell right? Yes. I can't spell. It's so. Pluto. It's, it's plutonium is named after the Pluto planet. Is it? Yes. Plutonium is? Yes. I read it. Wow. Much wow. Because I didn't know how to spell it correctly. I didn't want to be. An idiot and not know what I'm doing. Like Skeet Scout? Yeah. <laughs> so I looked it up how to spell it and then also read about it. Very nice. So peel and peel, peel and then stick. Yep. So a lot of peeling and a lot of peeling and a little sticking. So this is smart vinyl, so it's really clean in my butt because it doesn't come off. Oh, it doesn't? No. Out of there? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's really hard. I'd rather use the cheap stuff than. The good stuff? And the good stuff. <laughs> Excellent. I, I always put my standards real high to use the cheap stuff. <laughs> See? 
What? That peel, came peel off. the other way. Oh uh, no, that's the right way. It is, but it doesn't. I gotta use my poker because it, the the pin line is not oh, coming off. Oh, the pin line. Or the number, or the word, something. Mm. But yes, it is coming <laughs> along. Great. Do you still smell farts, Riley? Yes. I even have the door open. I don't. I know. How does that make you feel? Disgusting. Can you describe to the audience what it smells like? Something died, and then it threw up, and then it sat and rocked an eggs. It's disgusting. <laughs> that, is pretty, that is a pretty good description. It, it Like, legit. I, I don't know what happened. I don't understand why. That is that bad, but yeah, sorry about that. Yes, this is. Yeah. I got good news though, because I get to leave. Wait, what? I mean, I don't have to be in here. <laughs> yes, you need to sit in your own misery. Oh, I do that a lot. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Oh, no. And the backing's really thick, so it's like double hardness. Like it's I see, yeah. So hard to do. I see that. So I'm not a big fan of. I mean, I'm sure it'll, it'll work final. if you're doing like big. I wonder if it's your stuff. Your well, transfer sure paper we use quite a bit. Too, but feel how thick that no, is. No, I, I see that's like that's insane. Yeah, you could build like something plastic. out of that. Oh, but it's smart about because it it's <laughs> got to be the thick <laughs> stuff. Because <laughs> it goes in there without it. Yes, without the mat. I understand. Yeah. So smart vinyl is not very smart. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Right. And it doesn't go through without a mat unless it's longer than 12 inches. Even though your object may only be this big, it won't take it. You gotta put it. So on really, that. it's very unsmart. It's really, uh, it's, it's not a gimmick. A, it is. It's a way to. Oh, let's charge you ten dollars more. Is that the right spot? I'm hoping. Because I don't know. It's fine. Five it and looks. A half would be two and a half, so it okay. looks good. You done did it. Stick it, baby. Stick it. Mm, it's not, but it's okay. It's totally fine. It looks fine. Stick it. You're not going to take what that goes off. On the There's bottom. no way. This thing goes on the bottom. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. It's perfect. This needs to come down a little. No. Oh, you got it up. Oh, my God. I would have never done that. That's, that's perfect. Much. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Is this a professional way of doing it? Cool. I don't see what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> Not platonium. <laughs> what will you do? <laughs> I love it. It's super fun. Yeah, it is. Now, next time I go out in the desert, they'll be, be like out there next to the nuclear test site. I'll be like, like, don't worry about me. They're just batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Not platonium. Nuclear batteries. <laughs> they don't have plutonium in them. I use americium. <laughs> <laughs> ah we're back we finally made it to the point where we are so my wife finished the box here's what it looks like Ta da it says professor on the top has my cool stuff she put on there which is totally rad I, I told her to pick this out and I said put not plutonium she picked out everything else and the guys at the airfield call me professor because I'm always out there doing crazy science experiments and then this she made up all by herself, which is totally rad, totally cool. Yeah. Actually, it is rocket science. That's pretty funny. So what exactly is this box? I've probably shown this at some point in time, but this box is actually my battery charging box. So this is my charger, the one I had originally broke. This is actually a really nice charger. Toolkit RC makes some really cool stuff. This is an MD6. Uh, dual smart charger 500 watts 15 amps this is a really nice charger that's per channel um, if I understand it right I could pump like 25 amps through here at 24 volt anyway so I put some literally hot glued some magnets on here so I can stick this on the side and get it out of my way or whatever I want to do and then on the inside you've got your batteries so I made some pigtails um, all this stuff unplugs which is really nice so I can unplug this battery. All right, I can pull it out. Made these extra long pigtails. So there's one battery. And then if I wanted to bring this to the RC field, I could actually unplug this adapter cable. Now I can bring it to the field. But I'm gonna plug it back in. 
And I got this giant battery in here. This is a 12 amp hour. Look how big this monster is. Look at that. It's so heavy it's holding up the box. That's a big boy. That's what we fly in the big plane, which you'll see. You haven't really seen the, the big plane that we originally built. Riley's still working on those videos. Anyway, there we go. So there's the inside of that. And it allows me to safely charge these batteries. If you didn't know, lithium polymers, they blow up. They catch on fire. So this is kind of cool. This little extra latch actually holds that shut. So if you had this shut and there was an explosion in here, it could pop this open and open the lid. But because that extra latch is on there, you can actually unlatch it, spring it open, and now it stays latched. You actually have to push this down in order to get that up. I don't know, I don't know if that's what's really for or for some other reason uh, for that, like easy open. I don't know. But uh, it's pretty cool the way that that works. So these are ammo cans uh, from uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, yeah, now I've turned it into my charge can. So I can stick this up here, carry it around like that. It's pretty cool. This charger is pretty nice. You can actually, um, um, you can do all kinds of stuff, but you can plug in a battery here like this big boy and charge other batteries with it. And then it's also got a five volt, uh, what is that? 5 volt, 2.1 amp, 5 volt uh, USB adapter. Anyway, that's it. I hope you liked it. Uh, this video was a bit different, but you know what? You get what you get. This is my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, so I can do whatever the heck I want. I do have another one of these um, that houses all my batteries. So it's just for holding batteries. It's a bigger, it's a wider one. But yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Peace out. God bless. Read the Bible more. As always, thanks for watching. Later.